Today I'm gonna to be packing my backpack for around six months of traveling. If you're going traveling for a long period of time, then this is everything you need in your backpack. If you're going to Southeast Asia, Central America, South America, then it's all gonna be very similar things. This is for warm climates. I've also made a free packing list down below so you can go tick things off when you're packing. If you don't know me, then I'm Joel and I've backpacked to over 20 countries. I've been traveling on and off for four years now. And trust me, when it comes to packing, I've brought stuff I've never even touched. I've also brought stuff which is very valuable and you need. So I'm gonna tell you everything you need and why you need it. If I'm going on a 10 day trip or one month trip or just months on end, I genuinely pack around the same stuff as long as I'm going to the same climates. And that's because I usually do a wash every seven to 10 days. And so I'll go to a laundrette or even hand wash it myself. Right, let's start with the backpack because this is where you're gonna be keeping all your possessions for the next six months or however long. And honestly, I am so fussy with a backpack. You just gotta be, you gotta make sure it's perfect for you. And this is the reason why this backpack is literally brilliant because it's not too expensive like some of the others. So with a backpack, when you're taking it, you don't want to have a lucky dip backpack, which is one where you just have to reach in and hopefully you'll get what you want. You want a backpack which opens like a suitcase. And like this, it opens like that, like a suitcase and everything's in there all nice and tidy. So I'm gonna show you some of the features of this backpack, but I actually have the older version one of this. This is brand new and it's actually a little bit larger than my old one. I took my last backpack around America, around Europe, to Australia, Southeast Asia, and it lasted so long, like five years, and so I just had to get the same one because I love it so much. Let's start with the top, and this bit is completely separate to the bag, and so I usually put all my dirty washing in here because then it doesn't like stink out the rest of the clothes, they actually stay clean. This bag actually has a separate pocket at the bottom, which is perfect to put my shoes in because it means all my clothes don't get dirty. Also, like on a lot of backpacks, ugh, there is a waterproof case thing. So if it rains like it does in a lot of tropical places, I can cover my bag and it's not gonna get wet, which is quite important really. And also this backpack does have a lock thing, so you can lock it up if you want to. This bag also has quite a few pockets inside, like one here, I've got deodorant in there, and then like this as well, another little pocket there for, I don't know, important stuff. There's also another pocket on the inside here, and the same the other side here, which is, there's, there's loads of pockets like, a lot of bags have. I forgot to mention, this is a 70 litre backpack. My old one was only like 60 litres. Having 10 litres more makes it so easy just to pack all my stuff and not having to like try and ram my backpack every time. As long as you don't try and cram too much in and overpack 70 litres, it's perfect, it's nice. So let's move on to shoes. And this actually surprises a lot of people. I only take two pairs, trainers and flip-flops, if you even call flip-flops shoes. I wear these pretty much all the time, so I don't really use like closed shoes that much at all. Um, a few trips back, I took three pairs and I never wore the third pair. I wore them like once. I was like, why did I bring them? I didn't, I didn't need them. When you're going out, you don't need smart shoes or stuff. Like if you're in tropical places like Southeast Asia, you don't need anything fancy for shoe wear like you would in the UK if you're going to a nice bar or you know club or anything. So don't worry about that. Now, one of the most important things to remember before you go traveling is to get travel insurance. This is what puts your mind at ease if something happens to go wrong. This is where Safe to Ring, the partners of today's video, is gonna help you out. They've got nomad insurance for travelers and digital nomads, which you can buy at the very last minute. And I mean, you could literally buy it on the plane just before you travel, but let's try and be a little bit organized here. Safety Ring has you covered for medical assistance, which you may need when you're traveling. It's very easy to start with automatic monthly payments and you can select a start date and an end date if you have planned your trip already. We haven't planned this trip and we don't really know where we'll be going or when we will be back. But Safety Wing is super flexible and you don't have to put certain countries or exact dates, which just works perfect for us. It also has great features which cover any mishaps when traveling with coverage of lost luggage, travel delays, natural disasters and personal liability. Getting your insurance with a reputable company like Safety Ring will allow you to feel comfortable if something unexpected does happen whilst you are abroad. So remember to keep safe on your next trip away and click the link in the description to get covered. Okay, so let's move on to clothes. But before that, I'm gonna talk about packing cubes. And honestly, Amelia changed it for me. Last time, like a trip before I was with Amelia, I didn't bring packing cubes. Now I brought them, they have changed everything. It's so easy and everything is so organized. Like, trust me, just get packing cubes. And like all my t-shirts are in here and then all my shorts are in here. And honestly, 
it's amazing. When you get somewhere and if you're there for a week or so, you can just bring all your stuff and pretty much unpack within, you know, seconds. It's brilliant. This time I'm going to be taking seven t-shirts and two vests. So here's one of the t-shirts. You've probably seen it before if you watch my vlogs. I pretty much wear all the same clothes because I've only got seven pairs. I also bring at least one long sleeve and this is quite important sometimes in the evenings if you're in the mountains it can get a bit cooler or if you're going up a mountain it's going to be a bit cold so you just want a long sleeve. Also for mosquitoes if there's loads of mosquitoes around rather than using bug spray you can yeah use long sleeves. So I usually bring five pairs of shorts and this is because I pretty much only wear shorts especially when because I'm in these warmer climates. I bring one sporty pair just so um, you know, I can, you've got some sweat proof or whatever and then I've got some relaxed, more relaxed like beachy shorts and then also like a bit longer shorts as well. In terms of swim shorts, I actually bring three pairs. I probably don't need three pairs, two pairs will be plenty, but I quite like, you know, changing and just having them and also you can double them up as shorts as well. So it's kind of a win-win. Moving on to trousers, I bring one pair of jeans, honestly, that's all you need. And then I also bring like a lighter pair and these are really good, you know, in the evenings if it's a bit cooler or there's loads of mosquitoes about and you don't want to get bitten, I wear these quite a bit. So again, if it gets a bit cooler or in the evenings I don't want to be bitten, then I actually bring two shirts which are long sleeves. And honestly, they're really good. One, if you want to look a bit smarter, but again, just to cover up. So I've got that one and this one. You've probably seen me wear these before. And then in terms of a hoodie, I only bring one jumper or hoodie or sweatshirt, whatever you want to call it, wherever you're from. And I actually make sure you bring like quite dark clothes. Not all the time, but when you're washing, sometimes if they're mixed in with everything, they can go, whites can go quite dark or, you know, creamy or a bit dirty. So just dark clothes are normally a little bit better. But yeah, this is the one hoodie. And honestly, I only wore it in AC and on flights and stuff. So I didn't use it that much. You probably don't need to see them, but I bring 10 pairs, no, 11 pairs of boxes, just because it saves me after washing them. And obviously they're the, probably the smelliest bit. Um, also, I bring six pairs of socks because I don't wear shoes much, so just bringing six pairs is more than enough, way more than I ever need. So now I'm going to move on to something which is kind of an option whether you bring or not, but it is very useful, and that is a waterproof bag. I use this when I go on kayaking, maybe on some boat trips, going to the beach, because it's completely waterproof. So if it goes in the sea, then, you know, if my valuables, phone, camera in here, it doesn't really matter. It folds up fairly small. Um, to be fair, a smaller one of these would probably be a bit better because this is 30 litres, which is quite big. I always bring a lightweight towel because we stay in a lot of hotels slash guest houses slash hostels, and they often do have a towel. So most of the time this is for the beach, but for when, you know, they don't have one at the hotel, then I use this. And it's so small, it's just really good to have. So also you should have a universal travel adapter. This covers pretty much every country in the world. It's got a USB-C and two USB-A's um, socket things, you know, and really, really good. So this is something you don't really need, but it's a skipping rope. I'm gonna bring this, I brought it last time, I didn't really use it, but this time I'm promising myself that I'll do skipping. And maybe ask me in like a, a month's time or so if I'm still skipping, but I'm, I am, I'm gonna do it. Also, because I'm going to Southeast Asia, I'm bringing a mask because there's loads of snorkeling and it's just nice to have your own mask. I don't know, it's just nice. You don't have to share them because sometimes they don't always work very well and it's just nice to have your own. So something I also bring is a filtered water bottle. This one's the Life Straw and it's on Amazon. The link's in the description. It's so good because it filters all the water so I can drink local water in Southeast Asia or wherever I am. You can even drink out of rivers and that kind of stuff as well. Just not the sea, not salt water. You can't do that. Um, but yeah, it saves plastic, obviously, because you have to buy lots of plastic bottles otherwise, and it also saves money over time if you keep using it. So yeah, definitely recommend that. Some other quick things, obviously you need some earphones because, you know, long journeys and stuff. I've got wireless ones, yeah, really good. Also, a passport, obviously you need your passport, that's self-explanatory. You need a travel card. So I've actually got a Revolut one. Um, I really recommend this. There's a link in the description. Um, also, you need a pen. So let's move on to the toiletries. I've got deodorant. Obviously you need deodorant so you smell, but um, this is probably the best room um, because it takes up a lot of space, but roll-ons are, you know, you get more 
for the amount of space it takes up. So maybe recommend getting one of them. Um, obviously, so I wear glasses, as you probably know, but I also need to bring contact lens solution, which is a bit annoying because there's more space, but that's what I've got to do. Um, and then I've got all my contacts in here. Yeah, I just use this little wash bag to keep all my stuff together. So like the clothes packing bag things, um, packing tubes, um, everything's kind of neat. Okay, something which is new, which I actually got sent by a company, is this electric toothbrush. And it's so much smaller than my big one at home, which is perfect because, um, you know, I don't want it to take up as much room. But this is so good because you can charge it like that with a USB-C. And I honestly have so many USB-C cables that it's perfect just to charge up. Um, it's also got a little cover here, so nothing gets dirty and it just feels clean and nice because otherwise, you know, if it's in there, I don't know, it might mix up with soap and stuff. But yeah, really recommend this. It's a cool little thing. Um, and it comes with a replacement, uh, what's this called? Toothbrush head. So yeah, cool little toothbrush, recommend it. Really easy to charge. This toothbrush is called Little and I'll leave a link in the description. Now some more medical stuff. Obviously bring plasters, bring some Savlon, and um, bring like bite cream. Um, also anti-diarrhea tablets like Imodium. So, you know, if you've got food poisoning, which does happen, then you can block your system. But also recommend getting rehydration sachets because when you have food poisoning, you lose loads of salts. So you need to rehydrate and get those salts back into you and it will help you start feeling better. I also bring razors and shaving gel because funnily enough, I do shave even though it doesn't look like it. Also, I don't have them with me, but I bring like little tubes of shampoo and um, soap. So. Either get little ones or get big ones if you want, if you've got room in your bag. Now, something else which is really good to have is like a waterproof iPhone or phone holder, because that means, especially if you don't have a GoPro, then you can put your phone in here and then take it kayaking or paddle boarding. And you know, it's just really good to have because then you can bring your phone with you, even if you're gonna get wet. I also don't have them with me. I'm gonna pretend this is it, but you need sun cream. Sun cream is more expensive out in Southeast Asia. So bring sun cream with you. Also bring after sun or get aloe vera out there. Aloe vera in Southeast Asia is cheaper than like straight after sun. After sun is pretty expensive. Also, I've talked a lot about mosquitoes because I'm the one who gets bitten a lot and somehow Amelia doesn't get bitten much. You need bug spray and bring a couple of bottles because it's, yeah, it's you don't wanna get bitten. If you're like me and you get bitten all the time, you want a lot of bug spray just so you're protected. Bring a padlock. I don't know where it's gone. I literally just had it, but um, they're really good for hostels if you've got lockers so you can lock your stuff away. Also, another thing to bring is sunglasses. I don't know where they are. Again, I think I've lost them probably have to get some new ones. Also, if you want to have a look at my camera bag, which is a completely different bag and it's got my cameras, my drone, all that kind of stuff, then I'll, my old video, which I filmed quite a while ago, um, just go on that and you can look at all the stuff I've got in my camera bag. So guys, I think that's everything you kind of need for warmer climates in Southeast Asia. And I've got that free packing list down below. So if you want to tick everything off, because I may have forgotten something. Oh, I have forgot, I've just remembered. So I forgot a rain jacket. You need a rain jacket because the torrential rain, it absolutely pours and you'll get soaked, which is sometimes fine because it's pretty hot, but just bring a rain jacket. They fold up really small. They don't take up much room and it's worth it. Thank you so much for watching this video. All the links to everything I've shown you are down below. And also if you wanna get safety wing a really good travel insurance, then I'll leave that down below too. So when this is released, Amelia and I are already in Turkey and starting our big traveling adventure again. And I'm so excited to share this first video with you. Thank you so much for watching. Go, go hit that like button, subscribe because all these Turkish videos are gonna come and you're gonna love them. So subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.